the speed of the technological or medical technological advancement is really fast these days. <laughs> new studies reveal that new things. This explains why we doctors need to keep learning. Yes, uh, our primary goal is to treat our patients the best, but to be able to do that, we have to keep updating ourselves. Medical information, new devices, new drugs, new technologies, and everything. You can't really download it to your brain like automatically. I wish there's a, something like that, but we have to do it hard way. You have to attend the conference, you have to read the paper, and as the surgeons who invent new technologies. The reason why I prefer to do, uh, see the surgeons like Faisal Yafi is that when they write or publish a paper, you can get so much information from that. Yes, it's a very valuable thing that we do the studies and uh, publish in a paper form, but that doesn't explain everything. So I really want to learn the motivation behind it or the things that they couldn't talk through the papers or the studies. So that is the reason why I want to see the authors or the surgeons who are doing that so that I can know uh, what really it is so that I can treat my patients better. I personally believe, unfortunately for doctors, we are guilty if we don't know about the information. But professionally, I try to be the best I can be. I think that's the only way so I can have a moral high ground with the jobs I do. Dr. Yafi is a good friend of mine, first of all. I regard him as my brother. We first met each other when we first started our career as a prostate urologist. He is very knowledgeable and a very prolific author and a researcher, trainer, and a big time professor in the US. He has always given a great talk to the surgeons. He is a really good surgeon as well. The reason why I prefer to have surgeons like Dr. Yafi in my OR is to ask their opinion how I do the surgery. Is there anything I can learn from him? Is there any different method he's applying? Is there any new information I should acquire? At the same time, I want to tell them why I do this, why I do that. I just want to keep learning from the great surgeons in my field. So in that purpose, him visiting to my OR and uh, you know, watch my surgeries, I learned a lot from him through the discussions. How it is in US, in Germany, in other Europe, in other countries, other settings. They do something different, maybe because of the medical environment, different patient groups, ethnicity and the age, and they give us different point of view how we see the prosthetic urology, how we see the penile implant. It's a very refreshing, and that's the way we grow together. So all in all, his visit has been a great success, and uh, I'm very happy to have him. I was a trainee as well, so I always keep trying to see the things through the trainee's eyes so that they can actually apply this when they go back to their own clinical settings and apply this to their patients. My method works only because I'm in a, my setting. I'm in Korean setting and the, the practice I do is a private form and the, uh, all the regulation and the, and the environments is how my practice was set up. The first thing I try to do is to understand his own clinical settings or his own environment so that I can help him properly. The second thing is that deliver as much information as I can with the surgery. So I try to be as transparent as I can. He can understand why I do this step or that step. The last thing is that I think important is that I always tell them why I do this, why I like the surgery, why I chose to be hyper-specialized, so-called, in the penile implant. Making money is important, but at a certain point of a career, you will understand that money is not everything. Career-wise, there, there will be a moment for them as well. They will think about why am I doing this? I love this job because I can be a help to my patient. I love to see my patient become happy. That kind of motivation, other than just you know uh, making money, is more important in my eyes. You got to make them understand why I am doing this, how I am doing this. From that, they can adapt on. There are many you know societies, uh, scientific societies and uh, organizations who focus on the sexual medicine. And there is only one 
organization that is dedicated to the field of prosthetic urology. Dr. Wilson and Barbara Wilson, they donated their money to make organization of philanthropy to support the prosthetic urology. We want to find new Dr. Wilsons all around the world who can be trained and perform the penile implant for their people so that they can help them. That's the goal of the you know, organization. For that purpose, a fellowship course with my practice. Uh, we made a course and yearly there will be you know, trainees who will come to my practice to get trained. Hopefully, I can be a stepping stone for the next generations of the Dr. Wilson who can keep the legacy of our uh, prosthetic, field of the prosthetic knowledge.